I'm so excited to bring up this next guest, David Perdue. David Perdue is a player with no game. His words, not mine. He grew up in Atlanta, not allowed to listen to any hip hop until his father one day noticed his complete and shameful lack of rhythm and forced hip hop on him. Thanks to Outkast and other Southern hip hop artists, he now knows how to find the beats. Without any further ado, David Perdue. And also on this next track, we have a special guest, Holly Flower. Everyone please give it up. Rosa Parks. in your eye, total chaos. These players thought we was an app, said we take another route to represent the Dungeon family like Great Day. Me and my homie decided to take that back way. We drive into the street and we head into the back gate. ATL Georgia, what do we do for ya? Hold dog and hold like the Georgetown boys. Boy, you sound and silly, think my bro me sitting pretty doing donuts when you suck us like in circles around titties. Damn, we committing, coming right down. What else could you must you in the mouth with this chorus now? Say, ah. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. The surprise birthday party for Rosa Parks. Yeah. You guys didn't know it was her birthday. Who knew it was her birthday? Who knew? Clap it up. All right. Now I got to let you in on a secret, white people, because there's a lot of you out there. Uh, this is how you celebrate Rosa Parks' birthday in Black History Month, is I encourage all of you to take public transportation and uh, go to the back of the bus. Just go to the back of the bus. <laughs> somebody on the bus will be like, respect. You know what I mean? Like, somebody, somebody will definitely be there for you. Um, when this, the Kuma and I came out in, what, 98? I think that's the last time I wore this chest protector. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I was like, this would be a good idea. It won't look dumb. And it was like, oh, you haven't worn this since you were 11. This is the last time you wore this. Yeah, put it on your sweater. Put all your 11-year-old germs on your sweater. That'll be a good idea. That'll be fun. I love this. I love, I love that you guys are here for this. Celebrate Rosa Parks' birthday. <laughs> um, I'm very, listen, I'm, I'm, a huge, I'm a huge Outkast fan. This is true what he said in my intro. I was not allowed to listen to hip hop until I was like 15 in my house, because my dad was like, the devil is in there, and <laughs> you don't need to be listening to that. But one fateful day, I was playing basketball, and I was not dribbling, quote, like a black dude, and <laughs> my dad was like, you, you got to do something about this. You, <laughs> I encourage you, son, to find your own hip-hop voice, is what he said. Um, so I did. I, the crazy thing is when, when, this, when this album came out in, uh, in 98, um, yeah, I wasn't allowed, like I didn't even know Outkast was a thing, but I just knew, I remember watching, like I remember trying to steal uh, like Outkast cassette tapes <laughs> from my cousins, cause like that's what the cool kids was listening to and I wasn't allowed to. Uh, but as I got older, I got to understand what Outkast was and I became a huge Outkast fan later on in life. And uh, one fateful day, I actually got, to, I, I met 
big boy? I did. You can know that. It's cool. Okay, I use the word met very loosely. Uh, very, 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 when you hear the story, very loosely. This is, this is how I met, I met big boy. I was working a, uh, a Christian hip hop conference. Yeah, I was. And, and one of the artists needed blank CDs. And I was like, cool, I'll take you to get blank CDs. There's a Walmart not far from here on Howell Mill. We'll go and we'll get you some blank CDs. I didn't know rappers shopped at Walmart. I didn't even know. I was like, this is not like, you're not like the videos at all, dude. Where, don't you have somebody just go get that for you? I guess I'm that guy. We went together to the Howell Mill Walmart and we were in the CD area, okay? We're in the CD area. And I'm 21 at the time, and I'm, I'm familiar with hip hop now. You can catch up, I'm familiar with it. I know what's going on in the genre. I'm a huge Outkast fan at this point. And as we're looking for blank CDs, this short dude starts like also looking for blank CDs. And I'm looking, and there in the blank CD aisle is Christian hip hop artist with his back turn. And what I think is Big Boy with his back turn. And I'm looking, and I'm like, oh shoot, rappers do shop at Walmart, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, and shopping at the Walmart. So I'm looking at him even more, he has an A-Town hat, and he has in one arm, he has styrofoam cups, and in the other arm, he just has footsies. He has footsies <laughs> in the other arm, right? And I do the thing, we all, this is Atlanta, we see famous people from time to time, right? So I do the thing where like, I don't want you to know that I know who I think you're somebody. So I'm gonna kind of stalk you a little bit <laughs> in the blank CD aisle. And I did, I went as this short dude went and I followed him and I looked and he looked at me looking at him and he looked and he was like, all right, I'm gonna let it go. And then like my head, I'm thinking like, I think that's Daddy Fat Sex. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Big Boy, right? And so, like, I kind of get him in like a corner. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I, I said it in fairness, like, he could have escaped through the other side had he wanted to. Okay, so this is what I do. He's, he's like, you know what, I'm a big boy, I don't have to escape, you're just a dude. So <laughs> he starts walking in my direction and I'm like, I need to know for a fact if that's big boy. Is that truly Antoine Patton? Like I need to know, is that who I think it is? And here's what I say to who I think big boy is. I go, so Lucius left foot? <laughs> right? Swear to God, this is what happens. Who I, I he was confirmed because this is what he does. He goes, show sure enough, and walks <laughs> right by me in all his big boyness. You understand what I'm saying? He show sure enough me like with the arm, like he, like you know what I mean? Like the most pimpish. I've never seen anything so cool in my life. It's like oh, all that big boy, all that big boyness just hit me in the face. <laughs> Like I was like, I'm a little bit of pimp now. I think I'm a little bit of a pimp. <laughs> just his essence just hit me in the face. And he just went to the aisle and bought styrofoam cups, blank CDs, and some footsies. And I was like, damn, like rappers really do shop at Walmart. That's crazy. Like now looking back, now I'm a real August fan, and like I wish I would have asked him some questions. Cause I had him cornered. I could have asked him anything. And like, this is, he's not a huge, he's big boy, but that's not real. He's not a big boy. He's not, like I'm a much bigger boy is what I'm saying. I could have, I could have got to him. I could have, if I wanted to, I, I mean, then again, I saw ATL, he probably like, I was, he was tough in ATL. It was one of my favorite lines when he said, you know, disrespecting my mouth, and he made my mouth some goddamn money. He just dished it in. I wanted to quote all his lines from ATL to him. I'm sorry, I just wanted to do it. Anyway, this is what happens. I wish I would have asked him about, about Rosa Parks, like the, the song Rosa Parks. I wish I, wish I would have asked him, because we know Rosa Parks came out in 98, 
And at the time, I was not allowed to listen to hip hop, but I remember watching on Fox 5 News, and they were like, Rosa Parks is suing outcast. And I was like, what is an outcast? And uh, <laughs> again, no idea what was going on. I wish I would have been able to ask him, like, what, like, why did you name the song Rosa Parks, right? Like, the hook is aha, hush that fuss. Everybody moved to the back of the bus. That's like the greatest anti-protest song of all time. <laughs> Move to the back and you name it Rosa Parks. That is ballsy. I'm like, that is, that's, how, how, why, why? I wanted to ask him that. I want to also know, like, I mean, Rosa Parks at this point, uh, I think she had passed by this time, so I, I wouldn't have been able to ask her. But like, I really, well, what, she, she's not here, guys. Uh, <laughs> come on. Um, lighten up, don't be so racial. Um, <laughs> Like I want to ask, like why, why name it, why name it out, like why name it Rosa Parks? But then, like I don't know, like I, I have a hard time believing that Rosa Parks was watching like music videos and was like, I don't like the way this is going with my name on it. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I feel like if we, like, the stories and reports are she had handlers who wanted money from her, right? They wanted to explore and get this money. I just imagine like somebody going to Rosa Parks and it was like, Rosa, listen, I got some heavy news. You might want to sit down for this. You might want to sit down for this. And she was like, I'm always sitting down. <laughs> Don't do that. She was 85 at the time. You're all not paying attention. She was 85, had nothing to do with the civil rights movement. She was 85, she needed a seat. Come on, people, stay with me. Like, <laughs> I just, I just imagine somebody coming to her and just be like, yo, you need, you need to hear this, right? And then like she heard it, and then she didn't hear her name, and she was like, what? <laughs> uh, I don't get it. And then, and then they were like, all right, we'll have to play you the video for you to get this, right? But there's no YouTube, so like she literally just had to sit and wait <laughs> for like MTV to like play it. And like, hold on, Rosa, it's gonna come up in an hour. Just sit, relax, take it. It's gonna be okay. Just wait till you see this, Rosa. It's crazy. It's crazy, right? And I imagine like she sees she sees her name, and she's like, oh, that doesn't seem too bad. Also, then she like sees Big Boy in like a Mets, orange Mets outfit. She's like, I don't like that. I'm a Braves fan. Uh, Cause my Rosa Parks is a Braves fan. I don't care what anybody says. My Rosa Parks is a Braves fan. And she sees, she sees Big Boy around. She's like, I don't see nothing wrong with this. And then like, but she sees her name. And then like, and then Andre comes on and he's amazing. And then as this is happening, she's like, oh man, like, this song might be the greatest song of all time. And it's got my name attached to it. People are gonna forget about me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like that's what happened. You know what I mean? Cause it is one of the greatest hip hop songs of all time. For nothing else than there was a harmonica solo in the song. <laughs> when the last time you heard a harmonica solo? You know who plays harmonica solo? The greats. The last one, Stevie Wonder. Okay, there's Stevie Wonder, and then there's Outkast. Greatness, people, okay? Rosa Parks saw that. She was like, oh, there's no way in hell I'm gonna let two dudes walk around in Chester, Texas football gear have people forget about me. Like, I didn't get chased by German Shepherds for this shit. Like, shut all of this down. Run the trial. Like, she just got angry. I like, I like to believe that that's, my, my Rosa Parks, like I, like I like to believe that's why. Also like, this, it's just fun in my head to like see her like just miss the video and then have to wait cause there's no YouTube. Like, come Rosa, come. And she's like, ah oh, man, all right, we just gotta sit and wait. Thank God for YouTube, right? I mean, that's, that's if YouTube, she would, she would have done more with her day, is what I'm saying. She'd like run it and then she could have put it in and then it would have been cool. Glad you guys are real Rosa Parks fans. That's <laughs> excellent Rosa Parks fans. Um, guys, I think 
The moral of the story here is, there is a moral. There is a moral. There is a moral. Moral of the story is, um, you know, like, pick a song that, like a title for a song that has something to do with what's going on, because then you won't get sued by old lady. Okay. Before I go, I just want to know, are there real, are there real outcast fans in this crowd? Like real outcast fans? All right. If there are real outcast fans in the crowd, you'll know what to do with what I'm about to do. If you don't, get out of here, okay? Just get out of here if you don't know. You guys ready? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. My name is Dave. I appreciate you guys. Now it's beginning to look a lot like wood. Follow my every step. Take notes on how I crept. I'm about to go in depth. This is the way I creep my season. Here's my ghetto rep. I kept to say the least. No, no, I can't see.